Greetings everybody, Fennec here, back with another video, and today we have an interesting one, once again related to phones, but in this case it's a client of the popular Discord app, which is able to run on these older dumb phones slash vintage smartphones. Now this client was made by GRRXAC, and this is basically just trying to get this out there. It's a phenomenal client that lets you use um, Discord on these ancient devices, and you can go way back with how old you can run this on, so it's really cool. It's going to be a shorter video because it's more so like a how-to, plus a small demonstration at the end. And for the third part of the video at the end end, we'll also just have a little montage of all the phones that can run it. It's going to be a really cool video. Hope you stick around. And let's head into the how-to part of the video. So as for a quick rundown of how to install this onto your device, first go to the link in the description for download and download the midp2 version of the jar file as seen here. As for step 2, simply grab your USB transfer cable, plug it into your computer, and plug the other end of the USB cable into your phone. This will let you transfer the jar file over to your phone. And now on to step 3. For this step it's as simple as just dragging the jar file or copying it over to whatever part of the phone you want. Just put it into a part of your phone that you'll remember where. In this case, I put it into the documents on my phone. And if you can't transfer via USB, I do explain how to do it another way in text form later. Moving on to step four, for this part, you simply have to navigate to your file manager on your device. Most Blackberries have this. Most phones overall have this. If you can't find it, just Google search. And once you are in the file manager, simply navigate to wherever you put your jar file. In my case, as you remember, it was the documents and simply click on the jar and it will be able to download from there. All right, awesome. You're technically done the installation now, but I am going to include this part just as a step five, just to help you guys out a bit. So simply find wherever it installed to you in your applications, open up Discord, scroll down until it says token and input your Discord token. Remember to keep in mind to use an alt account because Discord does not like third-party clients. And then simply find the login button. It'll be different on certain devices. On BlackBerry, you have to click the BlackBerry button, but it should be pretty straightforward. Just find the login button once you have your token in and you're good to go. But keep in mind about what's on screen now. So now that that's all out of the way, we're going to simply do a little bit of a demonstration of how the app functions. So we have three different devices here. It works on all of them. Sadly though, this older Palm, I can't get connected to the internet. So well, it's obviously going to be a dead end, which is kind of annoying, but hey, it is what it is. Finicky bit of a phone. We're going to show you the demonstration on the old trusty Blackberry. So we'll load right in. To the discord right off the bat you'll have it neatly listed oh god i can't focus and once you open the app everything will be neatly listed you have your servers you have your dms and you just have random settings that you can change stuff it'll always ask you to click yes just do that you get a really neat little loading animation which i think is neat and once you click servers obviously you get a nice list of your servers some devices it might look a little glitched but who cares Let's load into our main chat. You can see all the channels will always work perfectly fine. Really, really straightforward. And we'll go into um, our main channel. And it's really, just really cool to see Discord running on a device like this, in my opinion. You can see our weird, crazy chat. It's what you would expect. Everything works. Stupid people dying. I was making fun of my city skylines. Thing, but yeah pictures work no zoom pinch but who cares and I, th I think it's cool that you get the added benefit that um pictures can be sent and everything and files and links so it's, it's really functional um client in my opinion um it's just really cool as for how you send stuff you simply go to send message and as you can see it works more or less how you'd expect. 
and you just hit the menu key and off you go. Just like that. And so yeah, that's basically how it works on the BlackBerry. Other phones are decently similar. Let's take this Palm Pre, very dirty, but whatever, for example. And it kind of showcases that different phones will react to the client differently. So we'll go into the Jabba loader. Loader up. And sometimes it'll just be a little bit of a different, um, a different situation. And it just loads like that. So same type of situation now, like a Blackberry, everything is here. I honestly prefer the interface to on the Palm Pre. Honestly, daily driver fun at this point because we have the 3G connectivity, so you can call, text, browse the web, and use Discord. So I think it's really cool. And yeah, similar type of thing. Pictures work, although it's a bit more finicky on this one because I'm running an older version. Yeah, interface is different as. You remember earlier on this thing but and yeah so that's how to install the app and a little bit of a demonstration of the app so it's a little bit of a shorter video but i really wanted to get this video out because i do believe the people who made this app it just deserves to be seen because it was a really really cool app for these um older phones it's probably the biggest thing to come out of the dumb phone community in forever <laughs> and some people might think it's really silly to think this is cool or to run it on such an old phone, but I tend to think it's cool because, I don't know, I guess people can stare at me like I'm insane using these things in public, but nothing can match the elegance of these older phones. And the fact that you can communicate over Discord on them is really cool. I just kind of really wish that um the Palm would work here, the older Palm. The newer palm works, but you get the point. Anyways, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.